and welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man Battle Network. In the last part, we started off the World 3 areas, and now we're going to continue on through them. And we got a new enemy here. These are the third jellies. I'm not sure what element they are, but I do know what the jelly viruses do now. Uh, they'll send a wave of their elements across your entire area, and it is extremely hard to dodge. Luckily, that one was still weak against the like elemental, so yeah. So I'm guessing it was aqua elemental. Now, I will say there is something of importance in this area of World 3. There is an HP memory you want to get because it is the last one that you can find in the main game. Without purchasing things, that is. And this area is uh, kind of confusing, I will say that much. And here we got another new virus, the Satellas. What these guys do is that they'll send their cursor around your area in an S formation, essentially. If it lands on you, they're going to be firing constantly at you, so you need to keep moving in order to not get hit. Nothing too bad, though. Uh, their chips are pretty good from what I hear, though. Oh, I almost called him Flame Man. <laughs> oh, Fire Man, you are so useful. Then again, it's always having a charge shot that does one, uh, not 1,000. <laughs> uh, one, uh, 64 damage. If it was doing 1,000 damage, I'd be wondering what game I'd be playing, because that seems like it could be Star Force levels. Because you can do a lot of damage with the Buster in those games if you know what you're doing with it. This area is rather maze-like compared to the other ones, but it's nowhere near as bad, honestly. You still might get lost, like, uh, there's actually another... Uh, first off, I should explain, the re reason there's no audio right here is because there was massive desync later on, so I had to fix it. And there's the HP memory, but there is another blue mystery data in here somewhere, but I forget what it is. Hold on, don't forget about us. Dex? Leave the hard parts to me and Gutsman. That should be Gutsman and I. We'll handle this. Hmm, you sure you can do it? Trust me, you should save your strength for the last battle. Yo, Gutsman. I haven't seen you in a while. Thanks, Gutsman. Yeah! That's the only line he has in the game. Wow. Dex, you really came through. Of course, silly, but it's not over yet. You're right. Okay, I'm off. But I wonder how you all knew to come here. So let's jack out and head in what is to the actually that was bad grammar. <laughs> head to the last area. But first we got an email. Apparently the life virus thing that's in the missile is made of all four elements and has no elemental weaknesses, and there are no effective combat strategies known. Hmm. Totally not foreshadowing. Then again, we already know the life virus has been formed, so yeah. I forget what that door goes to. So let's head into here, into the area we've seen a couple times now, actually. And holy crap, I want this as a poster. Hey, Land, check out all these footprints. Hey, yeah. Let's check around here again. Land, it's a secret door. Cool, we can jack in here. And since we've done all the other areas, guess what time it is. Oh god, why? I do not like these areas at all. Luckily this one is rather standard and short. But it still requires a guide for me, cause uh, yeah, I'd, it would take me an hour to get to this place otherwise. And here we got 2000 Zenny. And a new virus, uh... I'm not sure what they're called. They're the tornado enemies again, I know that for a fact. Uh, they're just more damaging, but they have still crap range, so yeah. Also, those can devils hurt. <laughs> Why'd I put it right into the tornado? I love having a powerful charge shot. Why didn't I do it this well in 3? I'm not sure. Or 2 even. In fact, I think this may be the best Battle Network game I've played through I've done so far for the channel. 
That's sad too, because this is essentially being completely blind. Aside from seeing certain Let's Plays. And we got another new enemy, Remo Bit 2s! It's the exact same thing as the Remo Bit 1s, except they have more health and do more damage. Ooh. Color swaps. Nothing really new in terms of enemy variety overall, though, here. You know, I'm getting a lot of good rankings in terms of chips, but on the boss battles, I'm sucking harder than a vacuum in the middle of space. And a big wave K, I forget what the big waves even are, so... Hmm. Also, I should mention, as this guy will mention, our save feature will be disabled from here on, so this is actually the last opportunity in the game to save. So make sure you do that now, because otherwise you're going to be screwed and we'll revert to the last save point. Weird, I can't use my batteries here. For real? Not after we made it so far. Lan, I'm here at last. Melu, you too? What's going on here? Roll! Hi, Omega. What are you all doing here? I saw you near the school entrance. And I told everyone so, we all came to help out. Man, I was doing fine by myself. No, we weren't. <laughs> yeah, right. Is there any way to show gratitude? Really? Roll, roll out. That was terrible. Yep. Roll flash! Thanks, roll. We did it! You take care of yourself, Mega. Sure thing. Now, Lan, thank Melu. <laughs> Nobody asked her to. Melu! What now? Thanks. You really saved me. Thanks to all of you guys. Oh? Lan? I was so worried. Oh god, she's crying. Sorry, I meant to be cheering you on, not crying. Good luck, Lan. Melu. Leave it to me. I'm jacking out. Wait. Sorry to interrupt such a touching scene. But this is as far as I can allow you to go. Who are you? I am Yahoot, right hat man to Wiley of World 3. And I am his Navi, Magic Man. And for my next trick... We got a boss battle! A uh, Magic Man! He is actually a rather unique uh, boss battle. The video looks oddly sp sped up, but okay. Uh, what he likes to do is summon viruses from those two circles. And, honestly, it's kind of a pain in the ass because of it. <laughs> uh, and that blue fire attack that he does hurts quite a bit. <laughs> I think, I want to say it does around 200 damage. Luckily, he only has 700, so he's not the strongest in terms of HP. And I gotta admit, I do like his appearance. Although, it's weird to have a Mega Man in base Navi randomly, because every other boss we've really faced has been from something on the NES, essentially, but... Then we got randomly Magic Man from Mega Man and Base, which is a game I'm not looking forward to playing at all. Uh, really, the only big things you should be afraid of if he summons them are the Cloudy enemy and the Megalian, because they can just move around and be anger angering. Also, in the anime, they made Yahoots a weird yoga maniac, and I'm not sure why. Then again, this is also his only appearance in the games, as far as I can remember. Same with Magic Man. In the anime, they at least had somewhat of a consistent role throughout the classic, and at least a couple times in Access. Not so sure about Stream or Beast Plus, though. Or Beast overall. Uh, really though, for Magic Man, just send out your best program, advances, and chips, and you should do fairly fine. 
Also, I should mention, I have only one chip replacement left to do in the game, and that's replacing my escape chip with an elect sword. Why? An escape chip's kind of going to be useless in the final battle. <laughs> oh no, the final boss! Run away! And I might as well show off Woodman. What he likes to do is land, jump, and bring the wood tower across the entire field. Dealing around 200 damage, I want to say? But Magic Man's nothing too big. Of a deal, at least. We did it! But he's not exploding. Ugh. Yahoot! Not you, too! Here, use this bit data from the life virus! Whew! Life magic, huh? Whoa! One life magic restore my health? Yahoot, I did it. You can say goodbye to Mega Man.exe. No. M Magic Man, look out. Red Man to the rescue! Ugh, too late. Mega! Lan. Lan. Your father gave me this. Here. Hub dot batch? What's this? Hello? Lan. Dad! Mega Man's Doctor Hikari, I'm sorry. I was too late. Lan, listen to me. You can still save Mega Man. But he's not responding. Apply the hub dot batch to Mega Man. There may still be time. But before you use hub dot batch, I have to tell you something. It might make it hard for you to use Mega Man, okay? I don't really understand what you mean. But I'll do anything that might save Mega Man. Then listen. About ten years ago, I was working on a new kind of Navi. A kind of Navi that could truly befriend its operator. But a program is only a program. Though I could make a Navi follow its operator's orders, I couldn't make one think and act on its own. So I started thinking. Maybe if you had some connection with your Navi, the Navi could respond to your emotions and thereby create its own emotions. So I tried. Looking at human DNA, I came to a conclusion. If I made a Navi with DNA just like its operators, its basic values and emotions would be the same. Operator and Navi would become a single entity, making an ultimate Navi. But it was tough making a program with DNA. I can make about 95% of the program, but no more. I just couldn't figure out that last 5%. My research came to a sudden stop. It was around then that I had a son. A cute baby boy. We named him Hub. Wait, what about me? But our happiness didn't last long. He had heart trouble, and became too weak to live. So I thought, somehow I'll keep his memory alive. Lan, Hub was your twin brother. You were born from the same egg. Your DNA is identical. I could use Hub's DNA to make a Navi for you. Suddenly I had the DNA solution I had been searching for. The Navi I made was Mega Man.exe. And the results proved that I was right. Mega Man.exe is a new generation of Navi. As close to you as a brother. But there was a danger. If I made the DNA 100% the same, the Navi's internal and external state might sync with Yo. So damage to the Navi would damage you as well. 
So I changed Mega Man.exe's DNA by one thousandth of a percent. If you use hub.batch, that one thousandth of a percent will disappear. You mean Mega Man will be born again? That's my twin? Correct. I was always sending Mega Man to such dangerous places. Did Mega Man, I mean, Hub, know the truth? I asked Hub to keep it a secret. If you knew the truth, you'd be too scared to use him. And a Navi that you can't use isn't a good Navi. So what will you do? I'll let you decide. But Hub, all those Mega Man. Remember, if your DNA is 100% the same, you will be affected by whatever affects your Navi. And the reverse is true as well. That would actually be brought into the manga, by the way. Lan, if you think you can truly beat the World 3, I think Hub will sense that, and he'll come back to help. Okay, I'll use Hub.Batch. Lan, you're doing the right thing. All my voices are inconsistent. Hub, come fight by my side. No reply? Hmm? Lan. Hub, it's me, Lan. Wake up. Lan. Ugh. What happened to me? Hub, it's you! Lan? You called me Hub? Hub, I've told Lan everything. We used Hub.Batch in order to bring you back. Dad, I see. That light means your program is being rewritten. When the light goes down, your power should be increased. Yeah, I can feel the energy inside me. Lan, I'm sorry for not telling you the truth earlier. Hub, I'm sorry for ordering you around all these years. No problem. I always regretted not being able to be with you in the real world. But being able to watch you grow up from inside here made me happy. Hub, so how do I operate you now, I wonder? Just be yourself, and I'll be myself. Mega Man. Let's hurry, Lan. I'm counting on you. Right. Okay, let's go, Mega Man. Right on. And now we can jack out and head into the final area, but I'm actually going to end this off here. Thank you guys for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. You can't save right now, as I mentioned earlier. And next time on Let's Play Mega Man Battle Network... We're heading to the final boss of the game, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. I forget if I said that already. <laughs> and I'll see you guys then.